Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series. This is Tim and I'm here with my colleague Ray and we're going to do some more with RGBlock. If you haven't already seen the first video with uh, the Arduino RGBlock, we encourage you to go ahead and watch that. But Tell us what we're going to do today, Ray. We're going to program Line Finder today. All right, so we're not only going to work with our model uh, with motors, but we're also going to throw a sensor into the mix, right? Right. Awesome. So where we want to start? Okay, we are start off, we'll get our loop screen, uh, our loop block off, and we'll go back to Control, and we'll bring in a program block, and so that we can, our machine, our robot won't just take off on us. Okay. We're going to uh, set up a while block and program the uh, start button to work. Okay. And this is our green button on our, the on the on the shield. Okay. And our digital pin for that is pin seven. Okay. So we're going to set that for pin seven, and then we're going to use an if else block down in our loop section of our program. Okay. And. The first thing that this if else statement needs is a test. Okay. So it's going to test a sensor. So we're going to go find a line finder sensor. Okay. And in our list here. This is a sensor from Grove, right? Yes. And this comes with the Arduino bundle. Yes. Let's go. There it is. There it is. So we'll put. Pops okay. right in there. So we're going <laughs> to test line finder. Okay. And so it's going to look and see whether it's reflecting light or not. Okay. And so it's going. It operates off of uh, black and white. Right. And that's uh, the line that we're going to be able to follow. Now I think we have that plugged into digital port four. We do. I can confirm so that. We're going to program that to check pin four for the line finder. Okay. And. Uh, then, since we want it to move, we're going to put a servo in. Okay. Because we want it to, based on what that sensor is reading, we want it to do an action with the motor, right? Yes. Okay. So if it sees black, it's going to move a pin in one direction, and uh, we're going to clone that since we have two motors. Okay. Okay. So I think we have our motors plugged into eight and nine. We do. We've got several choices there, yep. but we've plugged. So we're going to set pin eight. To run full speed one direction. Okay. And 180 is full speed in one direction. One direction. Zero is full, full speed, speed in, in the opposite, opposite direction. direction. Stop is 90. Okay. Or close to it. All right. Depending on this particular servo. So we're going to have the the servo attached to pin eight move full speed. We're going to have the servo attached to pin nine not move at all. So we want it to stop. We want it stopped. And that's going to make our robot actually do a turn, right? Yes. Okay. So the idea is that as it sees white and black, it's going to be doing a series of turns and kind of follow that follow edge that of line, line down the down the track, right? Right. Awesome. So if our if our line finder sees one color, it's going to do the then statement. Okay. So if it does not see those colors, it's going to do the else statement. Okay, in this case, when you say colors, you're saying black and black white. Black and white. Okay, just want to make, so make sure we're, we're clear. we're going to take those same two servos, move them down in the else block. Okay, and I just want to point out, you, you did a right click there, right? Did a right, right click to, to clone. To, to clone okay. that. Okay. And we're going to make the servo in, in eight. We're going to make it stop. Okay. And we're going to make the servo in nine, and since they're... Set up opposed. Okay, two we motors have, in opposition. So we have to set that for zero. And we wanted that to happen because we want them to work together. So one has to spin clockwise, one has to spin counterclockwise for it to move in the yes. same direction, yes. right? Yes, otherwise okay. it just sets and spins in circles. Okay. Okay, so our program's done. Awesome. We can look at it. We can kind of look at the logic of our program. Okay. Uh, it's going to set and wait for pin seven, a signal from pin seven. And then while it's doing that, it's just just not because we don't have anything don't populated have anything in that loop. It's just sitting there. It's just right? sitting there. Okay. Okay. So then it it just then that and that runs one time because it's in a setup, the setup block. area. In the program out of the program block, it's in the setup area, so it's going to run only one time. Okay. Once that starts, it's going to check the signal from the line finder. Okay. 
and it's going to do this action if it sees black and this action if it sees white. Okay, Ray, you ready to start try this? Let's test it out. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unplug this just for a minute, Ray, so okay. get that out of the way. I'm gonna hold the robot like this so everybody can see it. First thing I'm gonna do is power it on. And I am going to, I've got my little test card right here with black and white. I'm gonna press my green button. I've got one motor running. So now as I move this in front of, ah, I'm, as the sensor reads black and white, alternate motors are turning on. Ray, we've got a line finder. If you set that on the floor and we have a, have a black line, it'll just follow the edge of that. Awesome. Just, work, just wiggle right down through, through the line. That wasn't hard at all? Wasn't hard at all. Quick and easy. Awesome. You can add blinking lights or any other effects you cool. know, as you go along with that. Well, that just shows that that's not a hard thing to do at all. So I hope what that does is encourage everyone to go out. And if you've got an Arduino and you've got the RG block loaded up, give it a try. It's not that bad. So again, build some robots, have fun, come back and see us.